So, Charge Blade Files. They cannot crit, and they only scale off of Artillery, Feline Bombardier, and True Roar. So after we have the first two taken care of, we should be stacking Roar, right? And yet, the meta sets only prioritize Attack Boost 4, and after that focus on Affinity and EFR. So why aren't we stacking Attack Boost 7 and Peak Performance 3? Well, I'm Jinjinx, and this is Jinx's Musings Charge Blade File Math. Alright, so let's dive right on in. So, the Charge Blades SAED's file explosions have a motion value of 25 each. And as you most likely know, they do not crit. This was the end of the story when the game first came out, which is why the meta sets back then just ran a crap load of true raw. Attack Boost 7 sets were very common. However, in Patch 2.0, Capcom balanced a bunch of the weapons. Most weapons actually got buffs, however, Charge Blade SAEDs as well as Slicing Ammo got nerfed. And to be frank, Slicing really needed a nerf because it was so busted. They did kind of overdo it though, so it's kind of useless. Anyway, the change they did to SAEDs is that they made bonus True Raw only half as effective for SAED file damage. However, the base True Raw of your Charge Blade still affects SAED damage the same as normal. So basically, the formula ends up looking like this. Also, I apologize, in the CB meta video we said that non-elemental boost counts as base True Raw, I was wrong. It turns out that the file damage formula actually changed a bit since I last tested it. I'm not sure if this happened at patch 2.0 or if it happened later on, but at some point the formula did change quite a bit. Either way, what matters is that your weapon's base raw as well as your attack augments are the only thing that the formula counts as base true raw. And yes, you are seeing that correctly, feline bombardier and artillery do not apply to bonus true raw. Which is very interesting, this is complete news to me and I just discovered it through this testing. So, your bonus true raw is literally everything else. So, food attack large, as well as might seed, mega demon drug, demon powder, might pill if you feel like using it, as well as any hunting horn or palico coral orchestra attack buffs also all count as bonus true raw. And even though non-elemental boost and evasion mantle both scale off of your base true raw, they are considered bonus true raw. And of course, all of your skills like Attack Boost, Peak Performance, Agitator, Resentment all also count as bonus true raw. So yeah, literally everything else. So just seeing how heavily this formula is stacked towards base true raw, you can kinda see why the Diablo's Charge Blade is king. It has by far the highest amount of base true raw out of any other Charge Blade options you have. And every point of base true raw you have compared to bonus is worth 2.99 times the value for your SAD file damage. Assuming that you have Feline Bombardier as well as Artillery 3, which frankly you should because you're playing Charge Blade. In fact, let's just quickly compare some damage numbers. Let's assume you were to have Peak Performance 3 in your set so you get 20 bonus true raw. This works out to be 2.5 extra file damage. That's not a lot. Now instead, let's look at Attack Boost 4 to Attack Boost 7, a total of 9 extra True Raw. This gives us an extra 1.125 damage per file. Again, not a lot. This is why we always end up opting for higher EFR rather than investing any bonus True Raw into file damage. Really, the only exception to this is Attack Boost 4, because Attack Boost 4 is extremely efficient for your EFR and also happens to give you a little bit of file damage. But to be completely frank, we do it for the EFR, not for the file damage. To illustrate this even further, if you had Attack Boost 7 and Peak Performance 3 instead of other EFR boosting abilities, you would only get 3.625 more file damage. Even completely ignoring the SAED's huge motion value on the axe hits, the combos you use to charge your files while in sword mode will more than make up this damage difference. This is why our CB meta sets focus on getting as high an EFR as they possibly can while maintaining the core skills. Now that we know this damage formula, an important question is should we go for an attack or an affinity augment? Well, attack augments do count as base true raw, which is very good. Because they are 5 base true raw, they count about 1.87 extra file damage per augment. Which is pretty nice, and the EFR difference between an attack and affinity augment is only about 3 to 6 depending on build in the affinity augment's favor. 
Now you get roughly 11 extra damage on files from the SAD when you land it with an attack augment. If we assume that the EFR difference averages out to about 4.5, and we assume a sever hits own value of let's say 60 because that's fairly average, then it takes a motion value of 415 to make up this difference. Now the SAD itself hits for 202 motion value. 213 motion value is a lot of damage to hit in between your SAEDs. Realistically, the attack augment will be giving you higher damage returns. However, if you're like me and you have terrible crit RNG, you can still just run an affinity to try to get more crits out of it. It's such a minute difference that you can go either way. Also, I know we talk a lot about how the Blos is king, but this should really show you why the Diablos Tyrannus 2 is the king of charge blades. The huge amount of base raw it has means that its files just hit for such chunkier numbers compared to other weapons. Even if other weapons can theoretically hit higher EFR, it doesn't matter. No matter how much extra raw you stack on your build, the base raw matters the most. This is why charge blades like the claw charge blade which can hit white sharpness along with high affinity and a master's touch set for never losing sharpness still loses out. I mean look at these numbers I collected while testing the blows charge blade to figure out more about the formula. A set with no bonus true raw in artillery 3 compared to an artillery 3 set with 106 more bonus true raw only deals 10 to 11 extra file damage per file. Which is kind of the funny thing because Capcom did the patch 2.0 nerf to nerf impact file charge blade and it did work, they overall do less damage. However, when they did that change, it made the blows even better than the competition because base true raw mattered even more now. And the irony of this is they did in fact tune up elemental file charge blades to try to make them better. But they didn't make them better enough, so they just heavily reinforced the one charge blade meta. Speaking of elemental charge blades, let's just talk about the elemental math because it's super simple. So you basically just take your true element, multiply it by 10, then multiply it by the hit zone value for that element on the part the file hits. That's literally it. Before the changes in patch 2.0, this used to be 90% of this value instead of 100%. But to be frank, this needs to be around 110 or 120 percent in order for this to actually be considered viable compared to just running the blow CB. Like we mentioned in the meta CB video, the minor damage increase is not worth losing the hit zone value independent damage as well as the KO. Now, if you test these damage formulas against the training pole, you're going to get the correct values. But you may notice that when you go actually in hunt, the damage increases for some reason. This is because of quest modifiers, roughly you get about 1.2 times the damage anytime you're in a high rank hunt. Also I want to give a huge shout out to Honey over at HoneyHunterWorld.com. Honey was with me the entire time I was doing this testing and trying to figure out the new charge play file formula. Her help with analyzing the data points I collected made it so much faster to figure out. And of course, we use her builder constantly, and if you head over to HoneyHunterWorld.com, you can also find pages for all of our videos with all the builder links in there for all of the builds we display. Alright, that about does it guys. We do have a new video on the meta series coming out very soon. And of course, Octopikov Taroth is coming out very soon as well, and you know that Tuna and I will be streaming it constantly. And there are just going to be so many videos. So be sure to follow Tuna on Twitch and also be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified as soon as I go on stream here on YouTube. Anyway, that about does it guys. I hope your ungas are strong and your bungas even stronger. Happy hunting hunters. Bye.